Hi guys, welcome back. In the last video, we discussed about signal start event, right? In this video, let's discuss about timer start event. Okay, so what is timer start event basically? So maybe you already created one process, okay? That process you will not start that manually, okay? Maybe based on some time duration, maybe daily morning 8 a.m. it has to start. Okay, otherwise it has, to, it has to trigger every one hour after you run your project. Otherwise it has to start every five minutes. It has to trigger and it will create a new process automatically without interacting you. Okay, so till now whatever we discussed that you need to start the process. Maybe based on some condition or based on some signal or based on some message event, whatever it may be. Right, so as of now whatever we are going to do, the timer event, start event, you are not going to tell that boss with this event or this event or this nothing so it has to start a process automatically every two minutes or it has to start a process automatically every day or every week or every month okay so that type of use case whenever you are facing you can obviously go with the time start event okay so let me go and create a sample for that okay so i can click the timer start event then i can create a user task okay so like a timer validated just just uh, i'm just giving the name anything okay let me give it as user task let me end up the flow okay in this timer start event just click this if you see here the timer definition type if you are giving duration right so it will trigger only once for this 60 seconds or whatever maybe you can give it out if you can give the date you can specify any date when, when you want to trigger this when you want to start this process if you are going in this cycle okay every five minutes or every 10 minutes or every day so that configuration you can do it out okay so so two type of configuration again you can do it out okay one is cron job configuration other one is the whatever the definition comma is giving that also you can go with that okay let me go as of now with cron job okay so let me try with so every one minute okay let's try to create a well, let's start this process every one minute okay so for that cron job i already just copy pasted okay 0 0 by 1 it means every one second one minute okay then star 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 and question mark okay so this is for a cron job okay you can google it at so for to getting the cron job okay so based on that i just copy from google and i just pasted okay so every one minute it will create a this process okay so that's all okay so now i can change this name into and what is the timer start event right so let me give the same name for naming as well let me save this file as well okay i saved it and let me stop the server and let me restart it you can directly even deploy also but uh, for any you should not give any error right so it should not give any any issue so that is what i'm just refreshing that uh, task what is that timer start event where is that okay it is there the last okay so i'm just starting that okay so we configured for every one minute right let's see that how really it is creating or not every one minute that task okay so which task it needs to create timer validated task this is a user task okay uh, server started successfully okay let me go and log in our application okay localhost okay so with my credentials i just logged in let me go to task list page let me refresh it pass of no zero task let's wait for one minute it is creating or not okay so so hope you understood right so what is basically timer start event okay so every based on your configuration you can start a process okay without uh, interacting by human or anyone else okay maybe daily you need to uh, pick some files and you need to put it into some uh, aws maybe otherwise from aws daily you need to pick the file and you need to do some business process so that type of use cases you can easily go with the timer start event if you daily uh, put the timing maybe 6 am so it will automatically trigger the job and it will pick the files and everything it will do automatically for you okay so yeah let's go and check that it's got any task or not still not it okay one minute is not it okay see now i got a task right so after one minute if you go and see the diagram okay so it is came into the user task level 
if you wait another one minutes okay let's wait another one minute let's see it is creating the task or not okay okay similar way you can configure your timing and everything maybe if you want to do in cron job you can do it out okay so hope cron job is open so everyone should know everyone aware of that right so that is what i just go with the cron job otherwise you can go with our uh, configuration like pt something i'll give it out right earlier so 30 seconds or 1 minute everything is 60 seconds so uh, the in community documentation they are providing all the stuff how how you can do it out so that also obviously you can go with that okay nothing to nothing stopping there actually okay let me refresh yeah still in one task okay it should create another task now okay so let's wait for another task and we will end up with a time of start event session okay so hope you understood right so how really it is exactly creating the task right so maybe another yeah now you can see that another task also created now as a user you can claim this and you can complete this i can you can claim this and you can complete this okay if you wait couple of minutes it will create again and again okay every one minute it will now it will create you, you are not doing you are not starting this process right if you remember that you are usually will start this process otherwise you will go to our uh, Uh, postman that it will trigger it out but uh, but as of now we are not doing anything right so automatically the tasks are creating and it is coming into our screens right so how basically because you are busy using timer start event okay hope you understood right thanks guys thanks for watching bye bye